First cup of coffee of the day. Ugh. All right, so in this video, talking a little bit why I started photography. So a little bit about myself, I grew up not really knowing what I wanted to do, either professionally, creationally, anything like that. Like I played soccer and stuff, but never on like a higher level. I basically just slept in school all the time, just played video games and didn't really have a purpose or passion that I was pursuing. But it wasn't until halfway through my senior year of high school that my friend Bryson started doodling in class and stuff like that. And it was like, it looks kind of fun. And so we would have a piece of paper, we would go back and forth between and just write dumb stuff on it and draw all these dumb things. But it was actually really fun. And I started doing more and more of it till I started creatively doing stuff that I wanted to show to people and to see. So that's kind of one of the things that I started pursuing and I realized that there was things like that creatively that I actively enjoyed. I ended up actually drawing a banner for the whole classroom. I think it's still there. I don't know if she took it down or not, but we spent like hours and hours doing it when we were done with finals. I mean, it was just like a, a blast to do it. So I ended up going to a technical school, Midlands, where I started pursuing drawing. That's actually what my major was in. And I loved all the classes. My teacher was amazing. He really encouraged me to do a lot of the things at home, just incorporate that into my everyday life. This encouragement really meant a lot to me when I wanted to do this as kind of a full-time thing. And that's what my plan was then since I had found drawing and painting and all that kind of stuff. I wanted to be a digital animator. So I like got a whole tablet and all this stuff. But then I kind of realized that I don't know if I'm gonna be working these really hard jobs. Cause that's what a lot of the animation is, is working like contract jobs and it's just endless hours and stuff like that. And I wanted time to do other stuff. Really all my other classes at Midlands were kind of your basic stuff. And I, I hated all of them. I never studied for any of them. I actually failed my math class one or two times. So I was in my second year at Midlands. I decided to drop out because because I didn't want to be wasting any more money or time and I wanted to find something that I actively enjoyed. Luckily for me, my parents were very supportive of the whole thing. There's my mom, my dad, and my sister also. I'm, I'm very grateful for that. A little bit of backstory. My father actually has a degree in engineering. He's never used it, never done anything with it, but he's been doing real estate photography and videography for about eight years now. So he was one that kind of pushed me to go towards that route and maybe just pick up a camera. It really interested me in the past because I just thought of it as work and I never really looked at it as anything else other than that. One day I just decided to go out and shoot with it and see what happened. I wasn't really doing anything else. I remember hopping on my longboard and going out to the local park and then just kind of going out and seeing all the different kind of plants and stuff like that. And I saw one that looked cool. So I got like really low to it and took a couple shots of it. Looking back now, they were trash. They're horrible. They're overexposed, all this other stuff. But when I looked at it and I saw it, I was like, this is amazing. This is something that I could see myself actually doing. So I ended up staying out for hours and hours, pretty much every single day, just taking photos of anything and everything, cars, plants, trees, clouds, whatever I thought looked cool. When I would get back from shooting, I would go on YouTube and watch hours and hours and just tons of tutorials and stuff on lighting, shooting, composition, everything and anything that would make me get better at this craft. Finally found something that I really pushed myself in and whenever I thought about it, it would give me goosebumps whenever I did it. So a little over a year later, I'm here now, kind of still learning, still finding new things to shoot. I still get those ideas in my head. I'm still pushing myself as hard as I can in this craft and I'm loving every second of it. Part of the takeaway of this is finding something that burns inside of you and makes you push yourself and that you have real passion about it. For me, that's photography, but for you, it could be drawing something in the business side of things, like working with stocks, maybe even coding. Uh, but just finding that something that makes you want to get up every single day. Don't waste your life doing something that you hate because it's safe. You never want to look back at your life and see it filled with regret. So push yourself towards those things that make you happy and make you feel fulfilled. Hope you enjoyed this video and a little bit more about me. Let me know down below what your passion is and how you got there. If you like this video, leave a like down below and hit that subscriber button. I'll see you guys in the next one.